Good morning. My name is Paul and welcome to my very first YouTube video. Today we're going to be conducting a mock road test and what I like to call my five steps to a successful road test. So let's get started. Now take into account that when you go to a road test, this road test is going to last anywhere from eight to ten minutes. You'll be doing a series of turns into intersections. You'll be doing one parking and one three-point turn. So here we go with the first step. First thing you want to do is get into your car, adjust your seat, put your seat belt on, and wait for instructions. Now what, while you're waiting for instructions, please take a look around your car and get to know every instrument that is around the vehicle. Like for instance, we have an RPM gauge, which tells you whether your car is running or not. We also have our miles per hour. We know that speed limit in New York is 25 miles per hour. Because you don't want to pass 25 miles per hour because if you pass 25, that will be considered an automatic fail. So now that you have your seat belt, your seat adjusted, and you fix your mirrors to where you can see at least the back quarter panel of your car on each side, the instructor will get in and will tell you to start your vehicle. Okay, at this point, put your foot on the brake and start the vehicle. Okay, now the reason I say put your foot on the brake, cause most cars today right you have these push button start and in order for you to get the car started your foot has to be on the brake okay so now with that in mind the, the examiner will then tell you that when you're ready and when it is safe to do so you may pull out now here are my five steps to a better successful road test step one Put your vehicle into drive while your foot is on the brake. Step two, signal. Step three, turn your steering wheel. And we like to use a hand over hand motion and hold the steering wheel with both hands in a nine and three position, okay? Now that we completed step one, two, and three, we go to step four, which is look into your mirror Turn your head back to look at your blind spot. And I see that there's a bicycle coming, so I'm gonna wait for him to pass. And if nobody's coming, and which there is, I will wait for vehicles to pass by. And since I have completed steps one, two, and three, and I am now on step four, I am waiting for traffic to clear. As you notice, I am looking into my mirror. Now, once traffic has cleared, I am gonna turn my head again into my blind spot, and then I'm gonna release my brake and slowly pull out into my lane. And as you can see, both hands are on the wheel at all times. Now I'm observing my mirrors, and I see that the guy ahead of me is going to make a left turn, so I'm gonna stay a good distance away from him, which a good distance would be where I could see his tires and his back bumper. So this way, he'll give me the option of having to go around him if I must, and it is, if it is safe to do so. out of my way and I will continue at the next light is my first intersection and I will be making a left turn and I will start signaling from now which is at least a hundred feet before I get to that intersection 
if it is safe to continue, which it is, I'm gonna look into my turn and I'm gonna turn slowly into my lane and let the wheel come back on its own as I slowly hit the gas. Keep in mind that you don't want to pass 25 miles an hour because that will be considered an automatic fail. So you want to move with the flow of the traffic because if the flow of traffic is 10 miles per hour, then that's the speed limit I want to be traveling, right? But if the flow of traffic is moving at 25, then I want to stay between 23 and 24, but I don't want to fall below 20 because one thing I don't want to do is impede traffic flow we have to keep traffic moving safely right. hands remain at the steering wheel at a nine and three position and we will continue looking at the lights very important to track traffic lights and as you can see, I stay in my lanes. I do not go into lines. I look at pedestrians crossing the street, okay? And very carefully. And as you can see, pedestrians cross the street anywhere, not only at crosswalks, even at the middle, which is illegal, but we have to be conscious of that. If you notice, every three to five seconds, I am looking into my mirror and I am, I am observing everything that is happening around me. I'm looking straight ahead. I'm looking back. I'm looking to my sides. And once traffic starts moving, I will move with it. Always keeping a safe distance between me and the car in front of me. At least three to five seconds behind. I don't want to follow too closely. what other drivers are doing this guy in front of me did not give me any signals and this is why I maintain a space behind me at this next slide I will make it a right which I will signal now and I will get as close to the right as possible and I will slowly take my turn using a hand over hand motion and get in there and hit the gas and pick up speed the light so I will continue the residential area so 22 23 miles an hour is okay and over here I will make a left and I will get as close to the left as possible and I will turn into a two-way street my lane and slowly pick up and move pedestrians crossing the street give them the right and continue now this van up ahead we will conduct a parallel park signal. Get side by side with the vehicle, at least three feet away. And in this case, we'll go almost mirror to mirror because I want the back of my cars to be almost aligned with each other. At this point, I will put my car in reverse. I will turn my steering wheel one complete turn I will look for traffic coming from both directions and I see a car coming at me so I will stay still. Once he passes, nobody else is coming, I will turn my head 
and look into my blind spot, make sure nobody's coming from behind. And if nobody is coming, I will turn this way, look back, and slowly, slowly, there is no rush, slowly, I will get into a 45 degree, or I will wait till the license plate of the vehicle that I am parking behind is more or less at the center of my passenger side window and then I will turn my wheel all the way. Now here, I'm gonna keep looking to my right because now I am in that position and I will slowly back in until I am completely straight with the vehicle in front of me and I will stop, put my car into park, turn my wheel one and a half turns and your parking is complete. Now if you notice, I am maybe two, three inches away from the sidewalk, which is a perfect parking. Now at this point, we will conduct a three-point turn. A three-point turn, I will put my foot on the brake, put my car into reverse, just so I can back up a little and give myself a little extra room. I will look back to make sure nobody's crossing. Back up, slow down. Now, step one, put your car into drive. Step two, signal. Step three, turn your wheel all the way. Step four, look forward, look back, and if nobody is coming, complete your first turn. At this point, if anybody is coming, do not get scared. Just complete your three-point turn. Stop here, put your car into reverse. Signal up, turn your wheel all the way, look to the left, look to the right, and look back and come all the way to the middle or maybe past the middle of the street where you know you have enough room to complete this turn and stop, put your car into drive, signal, turn your wheel all the way and look and complete your three point turn. And over here we will make a right turn and I'll look where I'm going and three point turn complete. Now this mock road test might have taken a little longer than what it usually is, but these are the steps usually involved in a road test. Okay, we did a series of left turns, right turns. We turned into an intersection. We did one parallel park, one three-point turn, and now we're going back to the finish, okay? flow of traffic at 24 miles per hour okay at this next light I'm going to conduct a right turn and I will signal now and since the light is changing I will come to a stop before the crosswalk people remember you don't want to go into that crosswalk you want to stop before that first line and since this is a one-way street I am more or less as far to the right as I want to be to complete this right turn. I'm looking at my mirrors. I'm also looking into that turn because I want to know before I get there how I will negotiate that turn. So this way I already have a pretty good idea of how I'm going to do that. And once that light turns green, I will execute what I have planned out. And green light, look where you're going, because these people have a red light, so they're not going nowhere. And turn in, and let your wheel come back. Never letting go of your steering wheel. Maintaining a 24 mile per hour speed limit. So this way I have enough time to react in case anything happens in front of me. And this, lady and ladies and gentlemen, 
will conclude our mock road test. Thank you for watching. Hope you like this video. I will be making more in the days to come. So stay tuned.